what you are about to view is a chronicle of myself, Edmund Gaunt, and my companions as we try to discover how magic fell onto this realm. You will see battles, you will see wits, politics, and much more. This is not a journey for the faint of heart. Beware of what lies ahead. Enjoy. Welcome to Fate Awakens, episode 45. Before, before we get started, Neil. That's me. Um, I have a speech to give. Saturday, November 20th. Uh, Fate Awakens will be at Dragon Con, or Charleston Con. I don't know if we were going to that one. Hey. Uh, we are doing giveaways, stickers, shirts, dice, other essential goodies. We have some mini little figurines to give away. Those are cool. Uh, to enter to win, we're going to have a raffle system, so you'll be able to raffle, enter, spin a die, all that good stuff. Um, the big thing, though, is we're going to be having character sheets. Fill one of those out. Everyone who fills one out will get the opportunity to have your character either played by us in a one-shot at some point, or as an NPC at the DM's discretion. However, one lucky winner from that drawing will receive the ability to come play at this table with us in one of these seats. So, come out, see us, shake our hands. We're done. We're done. I just thought of a good idea, by the way. Please tell, because it's probably better than the note card I've been using for... What if we did, like, something for a D100? Like, everyone gets a roll to D100 and... Uh, That's the plan. Uh, my good idea is implemented immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's the you're, plan. You're so good at this. And handing it over to... Joey. Justin. Or Justin. One of those Both. J words. That side of the table. <laughs> that side of the table, we're go! We're both on camera, right? Uh, we're starting something new. We're going to shout out five people who subscribe to us every week. Uh, and I will do that now. If I unsubscribe and then resubscribe. A sign, a sign of appreciation. and have to get past the... Perhaps even in this empty space, your names will pop up in text. Uh, we have Calvin Bodecker. Thank you, Cal. Thanks, Calvin. Uh, we got Will Tom. Thanks, Tom. Will Tom. Will. Tom. Out of character RPG. Yeah, of course. Haven't played that way before. Collab. Uh, Shaquille Ahmed and Yasin Latif Al Masa. That's his guys. Representing the game community here. Nice. Thank you. What, what? All five. Well, if you thought those people were uh, were big fans, you should hear about I the folks who have joined members. our membership club. Uh, yeah. Because you too can be part of it by paying $2.99 a month uh, on our YouTube page. You are going to get access to cool badges associated with your account. You're going to get special emojis of all of our characters that you can use in the chat. As well as access to a members only chat that you and other folks who are in the membership club uh, can be a part of. Only sure. members. We talk so, in there. This is for only members. Only members who what are if you're fans. Just a fan? That's right. We're not in there. And uh, <laughs> only members who are fans want to join this. Only members. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we will shout you out uh, as well. So thank you so much uh, for everyone. If you like our show and you would like to uh, subscribe, please do that on YouTube and follow us on our social medias: Instagram, Facebook. Uh, and the Twitter, nope, yep, Twitter and TikToks and, and all of that. Yep. yep. And, only and, and we and our live only members. Our live chats <laughs> when the episodes air that is not uh, is worth joining. I mean, yeah. there's there's, you know, I think we're up to like off. fifty plus people on the live 
yeah, chat yes. as it's going, and I'm sure that will grow by the time this even comes out. But absolutely, you are experiencing it first with other fans. That's right, we and occasionally with us. So we really appreciate you guys, and if you wanna, um, if you wanna show us your support, like and subscribe, and I'll kick it back over to you, Chris. All right. Well, what did we decide? What'd you decide? I don't know. You tell us. <laughs> That's the whole thing here. Well, All right. You decided to have a conversation behind everyone else's back. Did I? I don't feel like I did. Oh, Last I did. Time. <laughs> I did. I forgot about that. Last time. So, as Jethro had a behind the scenes conversation, which I think he's going to tell everyone today, maybe, possibly. Hopefully. I got to put in order. Yeah. The group, uh, actually, Domic, Hi. met an old friend. Yeah. Yep. And had his way of making a deal. Have you made a deal yet? I don't think you have, actually. Uh, we talked a little bit. It's pretty about, one-sided. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's less, hey, what if we did this, and more just be like, we should do this. Yep. So, so I'm not expecting much, you know, kickback. Dominic has. So after oh, encountering a group of <laughs> hidden pillar assassins and defeating them, <laughs> Dominic did. Yeah. has a conversation. With uh, some riots. And what was it, stone giants? Yep, stone giants stone as well. Giants. Stone giants, goliaths, and the occasional human. Some big boys. They big. Um, Made a few of your fighters look minuscule. I'm the only fighter, you don't have to say a few. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a ship that I technically sort of kind of own. So. To an extent. It's uh, got his literal name it's on it. It's actually funny. Yeah, it's got his literal name I am name now on the it. eldest. That's it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure. It'll, I'm sure there'll be no kickback. I'm sure it'll be, everyone right. will just do what I say. Um, yeah, and I think we made a little bit of a plan to tour the coast. To, yeah, a little, 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 little tour. Some harbor hopping. Yeah. Um, cruise. With an, cruise. Like with a, an yeah, ultimate three goal hours. of reaching. Uh, the it, mysterious oh, yeah, the citadel we've heard about? The Kusam Citadel. Um, it's just the citadel. We heard, uh, we finally got a name. Tyrannos, was that it? I have more names, but yes. Tyrannos. 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 I don't even know uh, what I spelled in chat. Who <laughs> is probably not <laughs> in... Something. Where are we at? Port Smythe? We are in Port Smythe. He's probably yes, not yeah. there, so we're gonna try to find that guy. Yeah, we are on... We are on a mission, find the leader, and make our way to the Citadel. All right. Yep. So, I believe you were in the midst of going to go talk to yeah. everyone at the ship. Uh, as soon as I can confirm that this is what everyone wants to do. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. this, is, this is the plan, guys. Be cool. Confirm. Confirm. Right. Yeah. Um, so you are going? Fall off yeah. into the I've grown weary of this port, <laughs> to be fair. I just don't want to be where... Uh, what's the name? Kapoor knows where we are. I think it's probably smart to keep mobile now. Oh, well, do I have it? Especially uh, if our if our mark isn't here anymore. Or assumably it was never here. So I will make my way for like the third time <laughs> <laughs> this day uh, with everyone following me. Um, yeah, down to the harbor to find the Senate ship. Okay. I uh, can go there, no problem. It is still in the same. At, uh, Same spot. If I am invited on, ships work. Thomas does. What does. So uh, Dominic just walks on because he knows everyone on the ship to an extent. Yeah, uh, and I will pull uh, my boy, whose name I totally wrote down in my notes. Digofa. Yep, that one. Digofa. Digofa. That's it. This is mine. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I'll ask if you wouldn't mind. Uh, uh, did we do this already? Uh, like, uh, Let's go. No. Uh, I'll just ask if you would mind a private conversation. Uh, Not at all. Uh, hey, cool. Listen, uh, <laughs> uh, me mm-hmm. and my compatriots have a, a request. Um, I know you were just finishing up here. You told actually told me that you're leaving tonight. Um, if it's not too much of a problem, I'm very trying to word this right to where it's not a, where it's not a question. I will say, uh, we could very much use a bit of a lift along the coast. Way to. Uh, can't I get the map? I don't know the name of the thing. 
Kusam Citadel. Kusam Citadel. Straight south first, yeah. Kusam Citadel ultimately also, I think. Well, yeah, but he can't, they can't take us to Kusam Citadel. They can only take us down here. Yeah, that's right. This is as far as he can go. So if there's any landmarks here, yeah, I, I'll pull up the map. And well, we're stopping at every place along the way, remember? Yeah. Uh, I think Sony's landing they wanted the to first go one. here initially. So I'll just say, um, that ultimately to Ten and Fort Harbor, um, making a couple stops on Stony Stony Landing, which is right here, mm-hmm. there, anything around here, there, and then past that, whatever's here, if we can find that, I will explain that. Um, and I, I understand it'll take some uh, extra travel time, and we'll uh, obviously uh, pay for the additional. Uh, no, no need time. to pay. Your father will compensate us. Well, uh, yeah, but just okay. <laughs> that's all. That's all I guess. So I wouldn't do that. It's the thought. It was kind. Of. Just, yeah, you just have to offer. Kind of. I didn't really expect he would take me up on it, but I was like, oh yeah. Um, it's not like you have to. Like, like, oh, are you sure? Uh, okay. it'd be, I don't act entitled a lot, but I'm not asking a whole lot of questions with this. Um, and um, I think I, I, I think I did say. Um, I'll like write a note with my signature explaining why there was a delay in getting back, so he's not like his crew isn't accused of like being slow or anything like that. Um, and I'll say, uh, yeah, if that's cool with you, um, I can grab the rest of my group and we can board. We don't take up much space, not yeah. compared to you folk. Very well. Come on. It's fine. I'll get you a room ready. I say, the good spirits. It's fine. Yeah, it's more friends. All right, it works so. for your dad, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I technically grew up. <clears throat> he just grew up more than you. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he had a growth spurt from birth. Yeah. All, right. All right, so you get the rest of the group. We're good. Oh, and they kind of put you in a room with crates that look like they just shoved to the sides. Question: What's the scale of this boat? So I know it's like a shipping ship, like cargo. Yeah. So this is like huge because like there's giants. Imagine just, a man. like galley yeah. meant for Goliaths and giants. So it's big. It's, it's real big. It's so we're comfy. Big. Yeah, we're yeah, comfy. Yeah, y'all are comfy. We like, are looking at all these crates and they're like not like crates, but like six feet by six feet crates. Yeah, they're they're mini. St- they're like a pod. <laughs> Pretty much. The storage rooms are like. <laughs> size of like a cat. Y'all are in a storage room with all the crates just pushed We're aside. We're in Amazon warehouse right now. Got it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> distribution center. Distribution. Yeah, it's totally safe. Um, From the outside, it looks normal size, but it's definitely for the bigger folk. Yeah. All right. So uh, just um, pay attention. Don't let anything fall on you. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that. Just, just saying. Gotta say it. There's. You, if it does, uh, me, my father, and my company is not, you know, necessarily responsible for anything that happens. Do I have to sign a waiver? Yeah, you do it? actually have to sign a waiver, and I pull out my book. Uh, there's no waiver. Uh, uh, no, you'll just get crushed I, by the force of. Have I? Whole lot of force. I know we've talked about credit, but have I interest you to the concept of lawsuits? Because mm. they're they're wild. Anyway, um, are we just all? It's like a one room kind of situation. Yes. Okay. It's a big common. Imagine it like a twenty by twenty room. I mean, we're basically doing what we did in the, so in one the room Ruby HQ. A giant. Yes. But also one room for all of us. Yes. Got it. Got it. Um, I will Wait. set an alarm on the door. Okay. Just so we have some more awareness. Yeah. When, when and, we, it, and I'll make it, instead of audible in my head, or instead of making it just in my head, I'll make it audible so we don't wake up. Okay. Uh, at some point, I will, uh, I'll, you know, while we're while we're hanging out, just kind of speak to Domic and just say, um, you. Domic, uh, your family owns this shipping business, mm. but you did not follow in your father's footsteps. You became a man of the cloth. Uh, yeah, yeah. I started out. I started out. Uh, you know, doing, doing what I was trained for, myself and my brother. Um, it wasn't for me. He has a ton of employees. He doesn't necessarily need a, an active heir. 
Ah, that's good. So he is not bothered by the fact that you did not follow in his footsteps. Uh, you know, can you believe we never had a strong conversation about it? Either way, this is what I was, what I needed to do, as you could tell by the gravity of what we deal with every day. This is what I needed, um, despite what my father wants. Well, it is good that we have this, uh, these resources, these, these boats. It's nice that you have a connection here. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, not to get off topic, but speaking of connections, um, I do still have the, uh, the little, uh, question thing that I can do. Divine the answers of a couple questions. So while we're, you know, on the ship, uh, don't have a whole lot of control over our pace. Um, if anyone has any questions, yes or no questions, that maybe could clear some things up, gives us a direction, um, a head start on things as we go to these ports. Uh, write them down, send them to me. It's something I can do while we're wasting time sailing. Okay. So just keep a log of that. Uh, as you're talking, the alarm audibly goes off. And... Ding, ding, ding. And the gopha walks up. I brought some mead for the ride. If anyone's a little seasick, this gets you an excuse. I'm just talking about this. Appreciate you were just talking about this. Me. So, Much appreciated. given that this alcohol is for giant folk, mm. I would assume it it's, is a high uh, alcohol so content. Content. These are like pints for giants, so it's like a gallon for you. Yeah. So, But it's much higher alcohol content, I would assume. You can try it. I mean, Jethro me. has the intention yeah. of just getting sloshed. Yeah. That'll match. All right. And he just says, if you need anything, uh, I'll be on the top deck. Of course. Cool. Uh, and uh, before you go, just so you know, every time anyone uh, walks through that door, that alarm's gonna go off uh, for my friend here. So just if you hear shrill bells, it's just us. Nothing. Well, I to figured go. one of your little puny friends didn't want to get stepped on. It's, it's definitely a puny thing. Okay. Wow. Oh, well, you're small. I like this guy. Do. He needs a term of endearment. Uh, he, just, I just, he just strikes me as someone I want to be friends with, and he's definitely not going to have any ill fate become him. Puny's fine, tiny morsels when you should be kind of kind of afraid. I'm finally getting notes. All I had to do was... Ask for them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose, if there's no business, I have some uh, news to share. Uh, I have been in contact with Kapoor, it appears. Well, she has been in contact with uh, of it seems to happen a lot. She messages you directly. Yeah, she's a big I fan mean, of you. We gotta she, say. Nah, it's the exact opposite, actually. It's more <laughs> of a taunting thing. Um, so first of all, she appears... She taunting. seems to be under the assumption that we are weak and have That's exhausted true. our resources, which is not entirely That's kind of true. Um, I offered to meet with her personally to just kind of set this all straight uh, under, the, under the guise of a truce. Obviously, no harm to me, no harm to her. We'll meet, discuss this, what do we got to do? Uh, she says she's at a bad disadvantage, uh, mainly because, you know, we killed her. Uh, I once again said, uh, if she shows herself, we will not harm her in any way. Yada, yada, yada. We just want to talk. Like, we have a mutual goal here. Um, she says that her body is destroyed and she is at her last resort. She is very angry. It actually says here, she screams in anger. Um, I said if there's any way that we can help. If, if it comes to me to find her a new vessel, we can. Um, as long as it's obviously under the yeah. under the umbrella of a truce, where she assists us in our common goal of defeating the pillars. If anyone um, wants my opinion, I do think it's worth getting to do any, doing anything to get her off our back. We don't have time to deal with. Uh, she didn't seem too happy with the idea of a truce, um, and I said all I'm willing to do is talk, uh, even if it's just me in private in a mutual a neutral location. Um, uh, she says, and I'm going to quote her here on this, that we are a waste of her abilities. Dominus, Tyrannus, and Princeps, oh. to name a few. Princeps. We have no idea what is in store. The realms are back. So, I will leave that note <coughs> to the party if they need spelling. Dominus, that. Tyrannus. You can pass that one around. Dominus, Tyrannus, and what was the last Princeps. One? Princeps. Dominus, yeah. Tyrannus. So, so you see for her exact pronunciation, it's Princepus. 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 My apologies. That didn't quite come through with the translation. Nope. But it's so, spelled as it is there. She apparently... I mean, Tyrannus lines up with the other name we got. So that confirms Tyrannus is some form of a target, if we will. 
Um, and that's she's saying two sources she's also terrorism. fighting them. She said that we don't know what we're dealing with and that they are just a few of the threat. Okay. But she doesn't seem opposed to the idea of working together, but also she thinks that we are so far beneath her that... But we've left her without a vessel. Did you, did you yes. see spelling of these names? No. Well, leaving her without a vessel makes it seem as though perhaps her body was destroyed, but her soul remains somehow intact. This is getting more litchy as the time goes on, and I don't like any of it. Yeah. Please don't be Well, I am curious if perhaps having the blood of Mentis on her, the god of insanity, if Mentis is not in league with the pillars, that seems quite strange. Yes, I'm, I'm still unsure whether Kapoor is with the hidden pillars or not. Yes, she's with someone that we believe to be Mentis, of course. Yes. But having common enemies in the hidden pillars makes me think that. <laughs> makes me... Excuse the interruption. Strange <laughs> <laughs> ears, a strange Jeth- noise. Jethro is just like rustling through his bag, just eating like nuts and berries. <laughs> <laughs> Jethro, please, have um, a conversation. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's very tragic. <laughs> it makes me believe that instead of having one ally and one enemy, we have two enemies. But an enemy of my enemy is my friend, correct? So, yes. For, for, for now, it would appear that if Kapoor has the same enemy as us, and she does not have a vessel to threaten us literally, but only of the mind, then getting her assistance, even if it is just knowledge, would be helpful. Yes, if we had some shred of evidence that Kapoor would help us in our quest to find the hidden pillars and stop them, we would help her. And you have even mentioned that you will help her find a new body, and she did not want this. Uh, We know that she... So she was not responsible for the attack on us. We don't know. We were expecting her to come, and she never did, but then... Others came who tried to attack us. Based they were part her... of the Hidden Pillars? No? When you spoke to the dead, were they part of the Hidden Pillars cult? Yes. Yes, they're the ones who gave us the name Tyrannus, but... Based if... on her verbiage, as I did paraphrase a bit there, it seems she's definitely has an eye on us at all times. So that's, I mean, not even a surprise, honestly. So she's somehow able to watch us, which we are carrying all of her magical items, so that's fair on the ballot. Sure. Um... And she's not happy, but also, like, I don't know. I think a deal could be struck there. We'll continue to try as she reaches out to you. Yeah, I'm on top of that. In the meantime, we will look for these individuals and perhaps the Citadel. I mean, we now have a checklist of three names and a location, so yes. we are four points farther ahead than we were 24 hours ago. Yes. Okay, I would agree. A couple things. Should have read the fine print. So this uh, heads or tail spell still works. Um, <laughs> I was correct. Has to be a yes or no question. Also, can't be any yes or no question. Has to be the result of a uh, of a of an action. Like if we do something, will good happen or bad happen? So, it's so if then uh, statement. Oh yes, it's if I do this, will it be good? So I can't just be like. Is Kapoor the devil? Because it'll be like, I don't know. Yeah. That's not a court spectrum. But um, on your question, what I can say is if I were to go, if I if I were to like travel the realm trying to find your life son, would that yield good results or bad results? I can do that if I were it better. Okay. My so question yours works. pretty relevant, right? Uh, what was yours? Could uh, I make the statement, if we killed Kapoor, would there be one less devil in existence? If we kind go, of? If we go to this place. Uh, maybe. We'll, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I so didn't say that out loud. That was above too. Oh, okay. not your son. I definitely yeah, didn't blurt that out in there. Uh-huh. That what? <clears throat> what? There's no son. Do not do not worry about it. Yeah. No, uh, you killed him. Yeah. No one heard that. No one heard that. <laughs> um, I made that assumption. So, do you say anything in game about your spell and how it works? Um, so, what happens is, um, I will probably you guys see me like walk into a corner, just sitting on this very strong, you know, very large. Oh, and I try it once, and like nothing happens. And I like furrow my brow a little bit, and I just kind of get quiet for like five minutes. Um, do a little bit of prayer, and 
at some point just kind of come across the revelation because everything we've done so far has it's been applicable but when I try to do this it doesn't work and then I'm like okay so we may need, need to reword this a bit and I will explain that cool alright so as you guys travel for a while um goes probably till daybreak. So if y'all want to take a long rest. Yeah. I mean, yeah, through the night I'm definitely gonna take a long rest. Yep. Also, real quick, yeah, second yeah. thing, I can only do one a day. If I do more than one per day, it gets real wonky. Like he has to start making rolls and stuff, and it might be wrong. So it's not quite as busted as we thought. Okay. This is why you should read the full versions of every spell. No, that's useless. Just the first sentence. That's right. Yeah, just stop reading after you get to the good parts. That's right. Fireball. Oh, awesome. That sounds good. Uh, I guess, like, before we go to bed, like, does... We have a lot to unpack. Just say it. Yeah. So if anybody wants to speak... I know Jethro's got a lot to say, why don't but you I don't start, want to steal the show. Why don't you start us off, buddy? Um, You've never so, shy before. I mean, I know. Uh, I guess something we should discuss as a team is what is our I don't want to say end goal because I think we all know the end goal but like we find hidden pillars what do we want to do? We stop them from creating the rifts that have destroyed villages. Honestly, That's the nice goal but how? Honestly we weren't even sure that they were like necessarily like bold faced evil until Kapoor is like oh, we'll take over everything. Right? It was just... Yeah. Well, now we question whether or not Kippur is even with the pillars. If that is not the case... I don't think she was, right? What was it, it, certainly, it definitely seems... It certainly was. was an assumption we made. I think she's trying to use us to climb the corporate ladders. What does the realms is back, quote-unquote, mean? Is she, I mean, clearly she's talking about planes, right? Yes, the, the pillars no, were... In, in, in game. Yeah, the pillars were made to... Uh, Block out magic, which perhaps separated all the realms. I mean, we're familiar with but, the realm of the wild beasts, where Drawl went. Yeah, the but realm of shadows that, that attacked those were only realm. exposed because of of not Rindo, uh, the of the Razine, right? One of the that's three. what we thought. I mean, right? So, like, yes. what what does it mean that the perhaps back? It does, is what but people, perhaps is his cool. draining the magic has broken these locks. No, no, I think it is the other way. I think that Razim is the tool to expose these realms. That's what I'm saying. I think I think he, by absorbing the magic, the lock is in his control. He can open or close it. Yes, correct. Because they, he's, they were using him as a tool. Yeah. So that's why when he teleports, he my can question is: Have the they hole. found another? Have they fa- found another like Razim oh. now that he is that's uh, presumably safe? Question. I mean, Razim. I don't even know that we can call him safe, but it's. Feels like it is a good thing that he'll have protection in the form of a very nearly homicidal monk soon. But we sent Arena to go take care exactly, of exactly. this monk, yes. But it's going to take a while for him to get there. Correct. Correct. Um, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> she left. She left. <laughs> Bye. With our blessing. Arena nowhere. With our blessing, she has left. <laughs> so, we'll be able to yeah, contact we'll just, regime. We'll just pretend like it was our choice. Has been so it hurts less? Mm-hmm. Were we able to contact Razim? Razim is able to be contacted uh, through me. Uh, should we need to do so, I was planning on contacting him that Arena would be arriving soon. Uh, relatively soon, as far as travel goes, but uh, he seems to be not necessarily stuck, but confined of his own volition to one place as to not open any more rifts to his doing. Mm-hmm. If we find more rifts elsewhere in the world, it would make sense that the Hidden Pillars did not put all their eggs into one basket, so to speak. There may be others, others as there's 12 sets of pillars. There may be many experiments going on with these pillars amongst multiple people. Yes. Osas and Razim traveling to the set of pillars near Asirun means that was at least one experiment. The ones near Smide Port could be Kapoor's experiment. With ten other pillars, and as well organized as they seem to be, I expect to find more heavily influenced people 
I mean, could we assume? As we find others. We could assume Tyrannus has his own set of pillars. Uh, perhaps. And most likely Dominus has his own set of pillars and Principus has his own set of pillars. I think that would be a, a very strange assumption to make as, as we know now, each individual pillar in a set of 12 creates one ring and there's 12 rings. Now, each individual pillar was made by the sacrifice of an enormous source of magic. In theory, each individual pillar could be siphoned to become a magic user of that ability or greater. So each set of pillar, in reality, has 12 sets of experiments. Yes. Some which may fail, as we learned from the Osas journal, there were some times where siphoning magic caused an experimental person to die. Yes. So, I do not believe Razim was the first. I just believe he was the first successful of the set in Asi Ruin. Other sets, and perhaps even other races, as we know Kapoor is one of the elder elf races that could use magic in a low capacity before. They may be more inclined to siphon more magic, as well as Osas himself was an elf. Mm. Where does this leave us? I don't think, like, names are good? What was that? Names yes, are good? Names are good, yes. <laughs> I, I, I simply mean that if if they are in a more heavily populated area of elves, there may be more devious, successful experiments on the pillars if the hidden pillars are well organized, and we're also assuming that the hidden compellers the hidden pillars control all twelve. Yes. There may be some sets that are guarded by certain sects that uh, they are not able to penetrate I mean, as well. Perhaps yeah. if we can get to a set of we si- that's unguarded before they do. We simply don't have enough information to... Hence the Citadel. Well, the Citadel itself is just a large construct that we travelers know nothing about. I, I haven't read anything about the Citadel in my readings, have I? By the way, I, never, um, I don't think I ever asked that. Make a history check. We had this conversation about the table. Me and him had this conversation. Well, I don't know. If is I, it like a citadel as in like learning? Uh, so I rolled, a citadel as in you like said, learning. You said, his, like you said history? Or history. Or like, so I rolled a natural 20 for a 28. Okay. Ooh. So, like a military uh, installation? Is it a or fortress? Like, like, like the a, is, is, is I'm like saying a, if, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I have any info on this from any of my books that I've collected or my 16 generations before me collected, you got to roll a natural collection, natural play. So, you know of the Citadel to be the home of a lot of Dragonborn and, a, and around that area as well? Okay. Um, I almost did it. It's a know very it? old city that in history was a small village that most people just gathered to and grew over time. Yeah. Until one dragonborn got greedy and then power has transferred hands between dragonborn based on who kills the next one. Okay. So, so theoretically the Middle East. We right. could so just always a- around and just has grown and grown and grown and grown, but power changes hands a lot. Yes. Is it just um, a Damas- it is very, Damascus it is Rome, very sort of rich in uh, culture as well. Dragonborns are the main kind of uh, race. They're there. about fifty percent of the t- the city. Okay, so is it like a place? Do you know if it? Like, do I know if dragonborn are magic inclined like elves are? Like they can still do a little bit even with the pillars. You've known out? of them to definitely retain an okay amount of magic. Nothing great. But similar to the elves, right? Like if they can yeah. light a candle by snapping their fingers. Yep. Like they still had magic even with magic shut off. That's yes, the they, they had yeah. abilities up to a basic cantrip. Okay. Nothing greater than breath attacks still a thing? They always have breath attacks. So and I know they have breath. Yes, that is I, I know that they is one do. reason they were feared among everyone else. Okay. okay. But there are some dragonborn that are very kind in nature. Uh, it follows their chromatic metallic kind of genre. But they live among each other. Standard D&D. The chromatic and the metallic. And, but have I ever heard of a dragon, by the way? Or just dragon? Oh, yeah. They're no, ancient. They're like, but ancient, like, ancient You've lore. never seen one, but you have seen a skull. It's okay. You know the rule. 
Dra- I know dragons are not myth. Yep. They um, are. They're you one they're, name you know them to be extinct. You don't know of any more around. Is there? I'm asking this question to, to Edmund, I guess. Do we know if the place is burning? Is it like? It's, well, it's just a, a large city. city. Is what it's it's an extremely large city and castle. So, it's like, it's, it's, it's so like the castle. citadel itself is the headquarters of whoever's in charge of like whoever the ruler is at the time. Correct. Okay. But it's, it's a, so we're, I mean we're we're going to potentially the largest city any of us have encountered. Yes. Okay. okay. So I will explain that to the group. Yep. It's not the largest city y'all know of in the world. Yeah. But it is probably the largest one any of y'all have been to. We, we'll still have to find the right, the other half of the way there. My yes. boy's only two. How many people I can convert in that city? I really, really feel like we need to focus well, on Well, after we say after we get to the, the land bridge, we'll continue to walk up and find, perhaps in Hunterport or Stormbreaker Harbor, another ship to ferry us. If this is the large city that I've read it to be, then... There should be ships traveling to and from there in the area quite frequently. I think we shouldn't tarry, use my words, more than a day in <laughs> any of these ports. That's, that is not tarry. That is not tarry in any of these ports more than a day. Um, I think we, I think we should try to make haste as much as possible. Post Obviously, rest during the day, travel at night, hit these cities, maybe gather supplies if we need it. I mean, we are well funded. So if we need some, yeah, I mean, we're also like protected, like a ship load of that ship, ship load of Goliaths and storm. Yeah, storm I mean, if there's any type of, we're not going to get attacked on this. If there's ship. anything we need, values wise, right? If you guys want to buy anything, we can make an excursion to the shore, perhaps. Well, we'll I mean, have to ask around for these names as well. Yeah, I mean, stop into the tavern, get a drink, buy to eat, and pick up some of the local rumors, things like that. I think that's well, let's, uh, let's definitely keep our focus on the simple. What are we hoping to find this? Oh. Not to make. Well, if nothing else, longer. perhaps we will find out more information about these leaders of the hidden pillar. Okay. I, I feel mean, like I feel like these three names are what we need to. Yeah, given yes. given that it is a large seat of power, obviously it's an ancient city, very highly populated. Our chances so, of finding information. I, I imagine the knowledge they have in a city so ancient. Uh, and large. Their large, their libraries, and exactly. their a lot of people. Books would be held quite from quite a while ago. So and my library is as good as it is, and it's a nice uh, library. Desiree's, I'm sure, as good as hers is. Uh, this city seems to to predate uh, the lifespan of an elf. Perhaps so. there are even pillars at the citadel. So quite possible. Question: If we, you know, let's say like the second port we stop across, uh, we we find a lead on. Tyrannus, or one of the names. I keep calling Tyrannus. That's not it. That is uh, it. So that is it? Yeah, okay, is. cool. Uh, if we find Lilian's on, are we going to stop, have the ship wait for us, and go more inland? Well, to find that they are in the city, perhaps, but otherwise, yeah. it's probably helpful to I know where they might be located, the whereabouts of them. I, th- I think I the like objective this... should be to gather as much information on the way to the Citadel. Upon arriving there, but we the can whole, put it together. But the whole point of the Citadel is to get leads on this, if we find a lead in the city, I feel like that's more important than hopefully finding another lead in I, the Citadel. Itself. I think getting more I, I, than one lead and then getting to the Citadel, compiling those, and possibly gaining more information, so we come with a game. But we, we just have no inclination that Citadel is even going to help us. I mean, yeah. Uh, we, I think, I think to plan... I, I just don't think I think to should. plan the course of the events of the future is completely relying on information. I, Having I, this plan now is us Assuming what may happen, I just, yeah, I'm agreeing with you. I think we should just be flexible, and if we find a lead, we should Absolutely. follow that before we ignore it, go after something else, find nothing, have to double all the way back to find the. To, I agree. Our, our course of action should be based on the information yeah. we find, and if we find it before the citadel, we should follow it. Yeah, thank you. My, this was just to say I don't think we should put blinders on only on the citadel. Yeah. That was all the same. Yes. I think I think we have an understanding. Yes. Okay, um, well, if we're done here, uh, I do have one question, um, and I can start with, uh, well, we kind of know the answer that is a citadel, something that will help us now. Whether this is a yes or no, this doesn't really change our like plan. To, uh, in relation to the pillar. 
colors is what I was yeah. asking specifically. I, I think it could be asked if we travel to the Citadel, okay. will we be closer to Let's discovering information about it? Okay, so I will do the fame, pull, uh, detach the, the amulet, um, rotate it a couple times, and it'll like float in the air, and I'll just like, do the thing like it's a fidget spinner, I'll just flip it as it's floating in the air. And I will say, we are planning to travel um, to uh, the city of the Citadel, whatever that would be. Um, will this course of action help us towards uh, our investigation into the hidden villains? Heads or tails, heads is wheel, uh, tails is woe. And this time I'll just let it fall. Feeling dramatic. Okay. I like that it's float. So... You feel a cold shiver run down your spine. I don't like that. And you feel almost a unknowing linger on the tip of your tongue. What does the coin land on? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, the yeah. coin lands on the back of the medallion. False, which is whoa. Am I reading that correct? Mm-hmm. So it will not. So that's we'll that's what my spell says. Jesus Christ. Feel free to... <laughs> I thought this little was a ticket, bro. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I'm going back to Port Spot. I'm going to drink away my mistress. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when I, you know, meditated on this spell and I thought I understood it, it wasn't a whole lot of... It was just, you know, it was just a coin flip to seem real simple, but every time I do this, it's just way more complicated. There's all these feelings and emotions and... You mean the older universe is just... Mm-hmm. Openly reveal its secrets? Yeah, no, no, I mean, I just thought it'd be a, just quick heads or tails things. Didn't think it'd be all this, you know, noir mystery and... Well, magic is still quite new. Uh, magic gives me heebie-jeebies sometimes. Shit, <laughs> All right. I don't think that changes anything, but didn't like the way that felt. Okay, well, to bed, we gotta... Well, no, we're sleeping during the day. Sleeping during the night. You're about to go to sleep. Sleeping during the night. Investigating the day. Wait, but the Citadel, just, going to the Citadel is not going to help us. Apparently not. I don't know. It, okay. I don't really know. Maybe we'll just call that one a wash. I'll try to try it again later. Not likely. <laughs> not likely. This is literally a magic evolve. Correct. Uh, either okay. either way, we're not going immediately there. We have I have time to like double check. Okay. And check my work. All right. All right. Let's get some rest. <laughs> Let's take a nap. All right, so you all take your rest in the middle of the night. Hey, we don't have to roll for watches or anything. Like Heyo! That. <laughs> we got we got ship people for us. Just fucking. I'll get one of my guys. Uh, on we it. got the alarm just in case. Yeah. yeah we're so fine. after eight hours long rest, uh, you wake up in the morning and you have two stone giants just sitting outside your room, just staring in. Well, the like, look at those. Hey, so there's up, no Biff and Beth. What? It's just an open then how did like, I put archway. the alarm on the door? It is it outside way, right? the doorway. Mm. So you got two stone giants just kind of sitting, just staring. Yo. In giant. I say yo in giant. <laughs> in giant. giant. It's, it's a cultural thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's from my hometown. I understand that one. <laughs> hey. Wait, you understand giant? I get giant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, giant. We've, right? I feel like we've... Linguist, you don't know giant? Yeah. I have a lot of languages and giant is not one of them. It's one of the only That's a good thing they have it. Yeah. They, uh, they say, how come y'all didn't grow? You don't recognize this guy. Honestly, it's probably something we ate at a young age. It's just stunted our growth. Um, Not enough mammoth. Yeah. You get, you get enough sheep in your diet? Sheep just snack. Yeah, that's that's all we eat. All we eat is sheep. That's the issue. Not oh. enough mammoth. I got some mammoth steak. You know... That's that very nice of you. I would actually like to have some I would eat that. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, fine, sure. Okay. Like one main mistake for the table, please. Appreciate it. All right. Good man. I'll, 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 two? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up and, like, stretch. You, two two should be good for all of us. Okay. Hey, Dominic, can anyone uh, get some breakfast in this? Uh, oh. hope you guys like very rare man mistake. It's very good. You will like it. Can you confirm that with... Have you had it? had it? It's very far north. Oh, <laughs> so if I speak giant, I probably eat the things that giants speak. Eat. Okay. So, uh, he leaves. It just sounds like a I was going to try to disprove your logic, but I couldn't. 
But right. if I hang out enough around them that I know their language, I probably have to eat. How them. many? How many like days of travel will it take to get to the, the first place? Is like so. There is a. Uh, G- it'll H- probably take about a. You'll probably get there next afternoon. Okay. okay. Um. So he gets you after a little while in the morning. He brings back two 12 pound steaks. This, so we're on the water today? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So he yeah. brings two 12 pound steaks that are pretty much still bleeding. Yeah. The edges look barely brown. Edges. Mm. Yeah, very red. Doesn't sound quite delicious. <laughs> you know? Don't you have anywhere else to get breakfast on this boat? Nope. Okay, we'll just cook it a little bit. It'd be very, very rude to my friends here to eat, ask from gain weight, a meal. And Big strong I bones. I have a plan here. Pull up my spell list. I refuse to eat raw mammoth steak. It's not raw. It's lightly cooked. Yes, it is cooked the right way. As says anyone who likes their steak rare. That's just uh, whatever you feel. Uh, I got rid of create bonfire. I read the wrong side. Oh, okay. <laughs> the um, other side is what you wrote. <laughs> no, it is not. Or that no. is what she wrote. Oh. Uh, uh, I am going to politely reject this meal, and I will. Say this is why you puny. Is this it in common? Yes. Okay. It is in fact why. This is the other one. Oh, okay. he's a puny. Pu- I'm fine with that. I'm okay. I'm okay with insults. It's all good. It's all good. All good. It is all good. Yes, it's good. Um, so why do we keep messing up the good? Uh, good. Where could I find some possibly fruits and vegetables? I guess we're going on a vegan diet. Oh, I well, still want that. Trying to get oranges? I want the very valuable. Nah, what, what, what other make a perception stuff? check. And it's very I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, asking, I'm asking good giant man. Oh, I don't know what that is. What do you eat daily? Mammoth. That. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. We have uh, we yeah. have some not as fresh, it's so really salted. If anybody would like to join me on my food excursion, I am going to go topside. I will just um, take the steak they give me and try to. Um, do I not have bonfire? I also got. Views, we stop. both got rid of create bonfire. We both get rid of it. <laughs> Took mind sliver and just press it to change it. It changes the taste. I feel oh like you, um, you all are getting I think a bit it changes the temperature slightly. Just too. pull out a, a flint and steel, like <laughs> normal <laughs> fire exists, guys. I don't want my ship. You don't want to light fires on a ship, so you rather light your hands. I can fire we, bolt it. We <laughs> have a cooker. Okay, where's, uh, the, where's uh, the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? Perfect. Could you direct me to the kitchen? Oh, five. Five minute step that way. Yeah, all these ships have the same layout. Just follow me. Okay. <laughs> and I will, I guess, Dominic, you're taking me to the kitchen. Sure. Thanks, bud. All right. I literally have nothing else to do today. I'll, so, I'll, I'll make some. Just eat, they'll just cook it like twice as much. I don't want to get in it. I'll, I'll see what else we got. Couple That's times. what I'm doing. All right. We walk to the kitchen. Anybody joining us? I'm eating mine the way it is, baby. Oh, I'm definitely going to. Oh, I don't want to be all right. Anymore. So you all go cook your meal, do everything you got. Yeah, I, I want to go to the kitchen. I, I don't want to just eat my meal. If there's you're probably the kitchen, is there like a chef? normal rations. No. We also have rations. rations. There is literally like a almost like a, a little brick in oven kitchen? fire. Is there any food here? Anything? Make a cook? perception check. Listen, man's trying to eat here. Twelve. Uh, you look around a couple of boxes, you open it up, and you smell what smells like straight salt. And you look in, it is literally piles of salt and meat inside the salt container. They're hardy boys. That's it. <laughs> hardy boys. The hardy boys. Just a bunch of salt and mammoth. As you look around, you see some fresher mammoth that's probably been Mammoth's. cut maybe... Less than a week ago. Can I like take a knife and just like slice off like what would be like an eight ounce sirloin? <laughs> Go for it. I'm just gonna. So you you take your knife and it is a lot tougher than you are normally used to. That's fine. You eventually get it. Yeah. And then I'll take some of the salt, sprinkle that jawn on top. Throw it in the And then I'm gonna yeah throw it on the oven. Okay. Make me an ounce sirloin. Do I have any toppings or like not topping like spices herbs in here? Or... Yes. Salt. Mushroom gravy sauce. As well. Yeah, I was mm. trying to, to sausage gravy. Yeah, that's gravy. Yeah, they have, so they have nothing. 
No, what? nothing to cook with. Just meat. Top of uh, salt. And that's it. I have spices. Do you really? So like he also has herbs. some stuff that you guys. What do you have? <laughs> Weird herbs. I literally anything that'll make this taste better. Uh, yeah. Do you want hallucinogenic versions of that or non hallucinogenic? Yes. <laughs> Is that a question? Well, that's the stuff you bought. Shit, I have no. I have like. Wait, do like I have carbon any carbon of my shrooms that I got sleep. from the mayor that I can maybe slice up and throw on this junk? I think he took all of it. He does have all of it. I'm asking you, did I give him mushrooms from the mayor? They're all, like, powder, liquid, or other... There's no, like, physical-looking no mushroom-like items. In that there, case, there I, are powders. I'm going to take can my I? steak. I guess I'll just eat it. Okay. Yeah. I do, I do have, like, legitimate, like, spices. Yes. Well, that's, like, I started the game with a bunch of weird spices and, like, two things that were mechanically helpful for D&D. What spices do you have? Uh, have some rosemary thyme? Yeah, probably stuff like that. I, I would just, like to take some of the rosemary. Do you need butter? No butter. I don't know. Butter, butter isn't a spice. Uh, we have I'm troll gonna, fat. So white. <laughs> troll fat actually does work. Because that heals you, I think. I would like to take yeah. some... In, in, I would like to take Skyrim. some troll fat and some of the rosemary and thyme. And uh, I'm actually going to baste my steak as it cooks to make it quite delicious. Yeah. See, we figured it out. You unlock one of the question marks. So. <laughs> <laughs> you shall call me Gordon Damage Magic Ramson Gordon. on this boat. Ramson. Gordon Ramson. Gordon, son of Ram. Gotta, you gotta keep pouring uh, it on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm basting yeah. my steak. When it comes to an adequate temperature, I will take How it How much off. of the troll fat do you use? I don't know, like a spoonful. Like a normal spoonful. In the interest of that. spoonful. Like, like... To them, an imperceptible amount. Okay. Make a count save. Jesus. Yeah. Fifteen. Okay. Your stomach is extremely upset to the point where you feel like you need to go to the bathroom every five minutes. That's fine. Just hanging off the ship. It's normal. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna hang out. So let me finish my steak first. Press the yeah. <laughs> Just as, use. Can I cast it <laughs> as I move? <laughs> <laughs> it's all tingly. <laughs> I feel like the president is taking Paul's Chinese like, 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 <laughs> fantasy bidet. Full <laughs> presentation. Yeah. I feel like it leaves like the tingly mint feeling on your butthole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I smell so fresh and clean. Only if you want. <laughs> you know? Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna go into yes, uh, cast it. my plan today. That's right. if, does anybody have any plans before I announce my plans? <laughs> no, no plans. I'm just gonna go to the top, top side of the ship and just chit chat. Mm-hmm. Idle, idle talk. What do they do? Where have they come? Where have they traveled to? You know, are there any? If they weren't stuck to this boat, what would they go do with their time? If you won the lottery, where would you kill me? <laughs> I would like to find an intelligent one. I'm not saying the other ones aren't intelligent, I mean, but you know, one that speaks common. You mean yeah. one that speaks common and is interested in things other than mana. The Goliaths are pretty good conversationalists. Stone giants, eh, hit or miss. Okay, I would like to find a Goliath. And, uh, There's a few of them. Let's just talk about the uh, well, how things are going in the world. What's what's the current events? What's the news? All right, and I'll ask Dominic. So, does anyone on you, the ship uh, have you, you know. talked to anyone that has had an awakening like us that is able to use some sort of ability? He said the word. Uh, <laughs> uh, I left uh, literally as this was happening before even, and I really only know the Gotho personally, so. I doubt it. I feel like that would be a big deal they'd be talking about. But I don't believe so. Well, I'll I'll, I'll go try to find out if anyone's got some uh, sort of abilities. Um, So I'll I'll, I'll just ask around to the crew um, if anyone has shown some sort of inkling of magic, you know? Okay. Um, I'll go with him because I'm curious to go. Okay. Break the ice a little bit. Uh, are you helping him out by translating yeah, a little bit? Okay. Yeah, well, and I, can, I, I like... can speak a couple different things, so I don't know what they're able to speak. But if they have a language that's more comfortable to them, I have a vast set. Uh, as you talk around to a few of them, you find five that speak common out of around almost everyone. Yeah, if he needs one like, of them to be in the stone giant. One of these is like a word, yeah, a word yeah. to translate. Well, I mean, I don't know if they speak Elvish, Dwarvish. Like, I know they travel nope. a lot. So, like, if anybody, Abyssal, the Gopher speaks uh, Dwarvish as well, but yeah, they are pretty limited on language. The actual captain. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I am the captain. He is the captain. Uh, speaking with Dagofa, 
who seems to be the only one that's actually traveled outside of the actual harbor or actual dock that they've been docked on. Yeah. Uh, he mentions he's seen a few old timers go from casting a basic firebolt to catching your house on fire an accident. Or I'm talking about them, on the ship. On the ship, no. Not, I'm not talking about no. at harbors. Nope. Ship. You know, like on the ship. On the ship, nothing. Okay. Yeah, that's what I assume. Well, was, you know, maybe one out of fucking... I don't, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, how many people are actually being awakened? Is it one out of 50? Is it one out of, you know, 5,000? I, I, I think like, sample is just too small to be out. Yeah. At least right now. Obviously, a lot of the city, the city we were just in, we didn't really find anyone. You know, so. hey, out of curiosity, to go a while ahead here, um, do you, when you de- delivered that job uh, just now, did they pay you or was it uh, an advance kind of thing? Do you have the payment of that job on this ship or was it a contract yeah. type deal? Uh, what Did they pay in gold or gems by any chance? A mix. They wouldn't, you wouldn't happen to have gotten any diamonds out of it. Uh, clear rocks. No diamonds. I'm no sorry. diamonds. Gotta try. Yeah, I haven't gotten a diamond in like two years. Okay. Well, if anyone does, uh, you know, find me, I'll do a favorable transaction for you. The switch, of just oh. gold. Just keep that in mind if we meet meet the uh, cross paths again. Yeah, like okay. The, the Gopher sounds like he's from Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you know. It's, the Gopher, do you have any information about accident. our next? Port. Maybe we can have something in advance. Have you been there before? Uh, which one are you going to first? Stony Landing, uh, right? Stony Landing. I mean, it's, it's, Stony it's pretty Stony. close. I couldn't imagine it's more than Stony. a day. That word makes you want to pronounce it weird with the GH. Oh, that's... Oh. You'll get there at the end, uh, by tonight, actually. Okay. Um, Stupid port. Stony Landing is a lot smaller. It's a smaller fishing village, pretty much. Excuse me. I asked to go for this question. I'm gonna need to go for the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you know it's pretty pretty small. I accidentally did that accent. <laughs> I, I love it. Oh, so that fucking makes it up now. <laughs> no, no. Is it is it him specifically or is it like all giants? <laughs> like the giant accent is just it's maybe just people from the <laughs> <laughs> Dang, we've what? isolated our Minnesota and all yeah. <laughs> Dang. Hey, they're cool to be giants, whatever. <laughs> Like the uh, it's pretty base fishing. Based fishing. Uh, pretty base. Pretty base. Base is I can't do anything now. How's the tell, Dugova? Tell us all about it. It's fucking base, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Vibes. Vibes. <laughs> Um, it's a fucking fishing village. <laughs> Calm down, to go for. Oh, to go for. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Jesus, to go for. To go for. I mean, it's a, so it's just a basic. I've never been. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I told you guys that they've never been this far. They're, they're just doing out a favor. Oh, okay. Well, if they had all the answers, I would have. What do you What do you do for fun on this ship, to go for? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah, even tell you. Hey, just make it canon. It's cool. Let's go. We go sled. <laughs> we are. We're the toboggan. <laughs> we hunt sharks for fun. Oh, that's. You never hunted a shark, have you? No, that was a whale. That was a whale. Was a whale. Sharks are easier. Yeah, yeah, sharks are smaller. Have you ever successfully caught or captured or killed a whale? And can you teach that skill? What, what kind? Our friend Remdil here uh, fought a whale. Yeah? yeah? We have a harpoon. <laughs> Oh, their harpoon oh. is probably much bigger than the one we had. Round two, Remdil. Yeah. Uh, it's redemption time. I like check. Whale glue. Damn it! <laughs> Remdil! Never give up We have so much dream. magic and buffs we can give you now? You yeah. Can, you could take out you a whale. You could take easy. a whale now. That's like what? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. In, instant right. fear of it now. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. Maybe we'll mess with a shark when we find it. Right about now, my stomach starts to grumble. I'm like, oh. <laughs> where's, uh, where's the bathroom around here? That's not a happy rumble. Oh, you, a, you take your pot. Uh, and yeah. just throw it over. Throw it over. As a certified physician, I can tell you that that is not a good sound you're making right now. Can I, like, is there a way that There's I can go, like, experts, below change. deck next oh, to a really? porthole? So I can just, you know. The portholes are big enough for you to fit there. 
That's fine. Okay. That's fine. So I, I will. Hang I'm so gonna cool. hang out next to a porthole with a large bucket. Uh, okay. That's classic. No problem. You get behind. <laughs> you also find a crate that I find too. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like makeshift myself like a little like bathroom, uh, <laughs> just like with like just sheets and other things that I find, just like hanging them up. Just look at the journal of the All of a sudden, y'all, you're downstairs and you see like a roll up sack and you hear this nasty noise behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm blowing it. I'm going back upstairs. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> there's that 20 charisma at work, guys. As, as I'm uh, defecating, I am prestidigitationing, so there's a sweet lavender stuff. <laughs> Why is it always lavender? La- I mean, lavender's great. Lavender's great. It's a cover up. Lavender's overrated. Lavender also is what, a. What do you prefer? Aff- Lavender's an aphrodisiac, so. Cucumber Ellen? Like, <laughs> trying to turn on these stone trials? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all dudes, done. right? This whole shit name is well, dudes. I'm pretty sure it's all dudes. And ladies can be. Uh, yeah, I'm, it's I've said it once, I'll say it again. Jump through, don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, starts to get the sunset, and you can see the town. Very small town up ahead. It consists of maybe 12 so buildings. Yeah. It's, oh, no, it's literally it? one dock it's the kettle, yeah. and like twelve buildings. So we're That's drawing it. some attention, perhaps. Yes, and you also cannot approach that close to the dock. I was That's about to say we're we gonna got a canoe or something, right? Or little As we get close, I will say, uh, I'm will say, going to be honest, I don't think we'll have, find too much in here. We can probably. Uh, Get a good source of food, uh, yeah. just some provisions. See Head if out. they have, for some reason, a diamond, and then get the hell out. Almost like yes, I might be. This might be a quick in and out. I imagine we could stay here for two hours at the maximum and figure out everything we need to I'll know. This it. is quite a small town. Yeah, let's wake up. I, I would like to grab breakfast, possibly lunch, and well, dinner. dinner. They, are, if are they help ostrich egg, at sunset. I've heard I that's we really good. Ostrich egg? Ostrich egg. We're getting there like at sunset. So we could, we could probably you know? leave at night after yeah. two hours. So. Yeah, so let's roll in. Let's I would like there. to... Do I see a tavern? You start getting closer as after starting to row in. Make a perception check. For anything as well. 12. 7. Or 8, sorry. 18. So... As you're rowing in and getting close, they all look like houses in every building. That's gotta be so like, like a home what? house? It's like a home house. No. Residential? Yeah, I mean, they've gotta have some kind of central meeting area. Uh, do any of them, now that we're actually on the dock, yep. do any of these places look different? Is it just 12 houses? It literally just looks like 12 houses. You get one guy that's a nice boat out there, man. It, it, yep. is, it is a nice boat. It's My friend here owns it. Catch any big fish in it? Yep. Yes, we caught a quite large Tyrannus, as well as a. Uh, what? <laughs> a cape is a Tyrannus. I'm gonna just say all the names. Oh, and Prince uh, uh, also a Dominus and a Principus. 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 What kind of fish are out in that ocean? Big old fish. Big old fish. Big I'm gonna try to look bigger than this. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just. He, he doesn't seem to react to any of that. No. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fun way to do it? I think we should do this everywhere we go. Imagine if he looks shocked after I said that for a second. I'm like, telling you, this is a somewhat low educated dick town. So I don't. We. Excuse I'm me. Not saying that, I'm not saying that to him. I'm saying that about him. Like is Uncle that, Johnny Is that the vibe we're getting? Uncle Johnny, who's also my third cousin Did extremely well in Dude. minor school Did he go to the Citadel to learn? I don't want to make presumptions No <laughs> uh, I'm not normally one to make presumptions But I don't believe I'll find a 100 gold diamond in this place So maybe we just chill out I think if you pulled all these houses together You might have 100 gold that's I'm gonna say out loud. Actively I'm judging. Gonna say, I'm gonna say out loud. I don't even care. We got we gotta knock doors at least once. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind we if we knock uh, doors at least once? Anyone yeah. in the town we should visit while we're here? You can come over for dinner if you want. What do you have on the stove? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, we got two fish. We can make it three or four. Or actually, how many are there? You know, a guy a long time ago fed a whole five thousand people with just two fish. I'm saying. Um, I mean, if you cut it out small enough, everyone would have a bite. It's made up. It didn't happen. Um. In this world, though, and also, we're not going to go there. Of course, we're talking about this world. We're not going to go there. Um, <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> I, know, I also I had know, a symbol I, on my neck. I know what I was about to say. Uh, tell you what, 
Uh, who is the leader of this town? Do you guys have someone in charge? Perhaps the sheriff? Is it uncle? Is it your uncle? That's also here. Well, Paul. Wait, do you have? Do you have a nephew? son? <laughs> possibly, <laughs> a, possibly a sister wife. <laughs> that's that's, that's it's not as uncommon as you think. Uh, well, I mean, Deborah married her father, so I don't know. <laughs> You know, this place leave? sounds right for Can religion. I'm just saying. Uh, um, please. <laughs> uh, perhaps we could talk to whoever is the head of the city. We would love to perhaps uh, throw some money his way if he could prepare us a nice meal. Well, shit. Her. Let's come on. We'll invite the whole family out. The whole family. All, the family. All 27 of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, all 32. Oh. How many nest songs? <laughs> Sons or nephews? Because that's different. Uh, are they? Well, who's talking? Exactly. Um, yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's let's head over to this dude's house. Is it night or daytime? We're, we we arrived at sunset. 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 Okay. So we're gonna hit this dude's house, get a nice meal that is hopefully delicious. We'll throw a couple cool this way. It's probably more money than you've ever seen in life. And then uh, we'll we'll head over there. Okay. Uh, so he takes you to his house. Oh, um, we're going to his house. Yeah. All right. You said you wanted to fish, right? No, I want to go to whoever runs this town. Well, no one runs it. We all fish. We all do what we want to do. Who is the wealthiest? Well, I mean, whoever catches the most fish in that day. Do you guys have anything besides fish? I mean, we got a couple of apple trees in the woods. Any oranges? Do you have more fish than this? What's an orange? I mean, this is orange. Is he tomatoes? Yeah, I, got, I got some orange around some here. Citrus? Do you have tomatoes? No. We got taters. No one knows the majesty. All right, uh, I anyway. suppose, I mean, if, if I could I could pay if you could provide us a quality meal for me and my friends. Well, hell yeah, we can. Okay. More than just the two fish. Oh, yeah. And okay. then we do that. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> All right, y'all do that. I'll fish and I'll grab, like, five gold. What is that? It's five gold. They look like, like corn flakes. It's worth a hundred of these on a political cover. What the hell are y'all paying us with? Oh, here, I got this. I got this. I got this. I will put them away. And I'll say, well, there's actually a system. How this works. Uh, there's actually not a system. Uh, we really just need to talk to your conglomerate of, of business yeah, family. Could, could you actually, I would like, that's Betty Joe right there. Could you bring everyone from town to one location very quickly? We're, we're getting more and more yeah. offensive. Family, and family come here. Probably just okay, yeah, call the family. And, all, and we wait for the start to see a lot of people that have very similar traits come out. <laughs> You're really crushing my vibe, dude. I could convert all these people right here, right now. You know, I think this was a mistake. I think we should have just stayed Uh, yes. I will address the family. That is all there now. And I will say, me and my friends here are only here for a couple hours. Uh, we are looking for a warm meal. Quite delicious. We are willing to pay in these shiny rocks. And I will pull out two gold. I'm just... I heard of that. On the mainland, this one shiny rock can get you an entire feast. So we're willing to give you two for this humble meal. We live in a port city. How do you have no concept of commerce or currency? We don't, they're very isolated. We don't live in a port city. It's like a port town. There's a port. What do you think we are? You're on the ocean. Hillbillies. Yeah, that one. Well, there's no hills around here. It's a figure. Of yeah, but you're, I bet you have a cousin named Billy, don't you? Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Billy Jean's right over there. Mm -hmm. Is she not my love? <laughs> This is too easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was way low hanging fruit. fruit. Easy. Those are apples. apples. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This, this is right. It's so hard. I'm like any of this. <laughs> um, any hoosles. Who's uh, not? Do any of these names ring a bell? I've been reading the list. He did. No, just not the one guy. The, the whole, the whole family. Uh, any of you have any friends named Tyrannus or Principus or? We have a principal. How about Dominus? Dominique? I don't know. It doesn't check out. Very well. Uh, <sighs> well, uh, we will take these fine fish that you've prepared for us that they definitely have. We got prepared. applesauce there, too. Don't. That's Can we just, not like, get to go? We really got to get back on the boat. Yeah, that's fine. I just need to somewhere to take a leak. There, there's like a, a town around that corner <laughs> over there board. as well. 
What's what's it like there? Order. Uh, <laughs> nice. Do you Sorry, speak of uh, Terranford Harbor? No, no, I don't. I I think that's really far away. Uh, there's another town. Ah, uh, Smideport then. No, that's that. I heard that's that way. How much? So there's another town nearby that's not on our maps. Where where's your map? I'll show. Them. You show them the map? Yes. I, I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were all very helpful. Thank you for the feast. <laughs> uh, and and something for you too. Uh, just a bit of a bit of show. I've learned this in back in my day, and I'll press the digitation. Some small fireworks in my hand as I walk. All the kids go. I'll join, including <laughs> the old do some old men. Gandalf and Hobbiton nonsense. Okay. As I walk away. Dude, I can Before fight this whole town. Would I know if they would have fishing poles on the ship already? Uh, you Would don't that be like a constant thing, or you don't know these guys to have, and you haven't seen any. Not my ship. Not the ship you're currently on. Okay, it's probably like net kind of situation. Uh, or her cool. Well, he's. Did they say fish? I don't think I mentioned fish, did they? No, uh, no. They, they they specifically said shark and mammoth. Okay, it's then not wanting to come back here and think of it. Uh, uh, do you? Does your family? Community, whatever, uh, have any fishing poles extra? Yeah, a few bamboo rods. Maybe, maybe a, the biggest one you have, a couple extras. Well, we'll we'll take those if you're interested in trade. We got some very high quality uh, mammoth uh, steak. I bet you never had a mammoth steak. The best you have. What is a mammoth? <laughs> uh, you will never find out unless you trade with us. Okay, you got a deal. You, we can always make more later. So, yeah. So while this is going on, by the way, I want to take the doo doo medicine of the original town planner. I'm not going to do this for the sake of time. Okay. I'm going to pull him aside, and I will now introduce him to the entire religion of Aboriginal. So so as he's doing the entire thing. Yeah. He's in awe at this point. I'm Make sure. a it's, perception. I'll throw some those check. out there. Ugh, Let me see the map. Never wear masks. Huh? Let me see the map in the meantime. He's an F. Is this persuasion, you say? Yes. 25. Uh, I'm telling him all about Aversia, how giving money and all you have to the church, and the name, the main thing is building a church and being hospitable to all prophets of Aversia is the key component of our tenant. Also spreading the religion far and wide to anyone who will hear it. The end. Giving your soul, ultimately, of course. Oh, damn. And I will show him all this magic things that I can do because of her power. Cool. I can do that one day? Yeah. Cool. Probably better than I can. I travel too much to really focus, but you being in this community and all of you sharing your powers together would probably be stronger than the greatest wizard, even greater than Edmund. He's a fantastic wizard. I, he, I've he already magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Wait to happen. Well, hey, when you go to a... Uh, Stonely Landing, it's like that way. Um, you should totally like they have this nice thing called a swordfish stick that really is. I will know. Uh, remember, praise Avaricia. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone who will listen, and uh, ultimately, key component make sure you're willing to devote your soul. Where are we at right now? Before Stonely Landing, I guess. I thought that's where we were. There's nothing else on the map. We stopped a little short. We that showed, sounds good. They showed the captain. They've never been this way. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Notice how we didn't make rolls. <laughs> do I have converts here? Or? Yeah. I can do that. Dominic Great. put that together as he said, once you get the Sony landing, that's smart. Okay. We're not cool. even on the boat. We're going to hop back on the boat now. Okay. Uh, if you need me, write me a letter. And I'm going to walk away what, without explaining. I'm going to walk away without explaining what a letter is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many fishing poles did they give? Six. Two. Six. Oh, damn. Hey, that'll work. If we get bored, we can yeah. Yeah. do Random some fishing. Pine too? No, I said two or three. I said six. You also don't know if they can count. Because they obviously can't read a map. Sounds like a sign. Right, we're rowing back. Yeah, sure. we're going back on the boat. Yeah, that was, that was like, what, one, two hours max? <laughs> an hour. An hour, yeah. Hour to an hour and a half. saying. I'm gonna lean okay. over. I'm gonna lean over to Dom. I'm gonna be like, I could slaughter that whole city, okay. and nobody so, would care. Uh, not Stony Landing. That's not this place. That's we, we stopped short. That was our problem. Yeah, I. That you was think that was the problem? Yep. Well, they were quite pleasant to talk to. Uh, not. Let's just let that go. Move on. Okay, back on the ship. Let's go. Yep. So as you go around a bank, yeah. 
of the island, you see a larger village. Shasi. That's probably closer to the size of Aussie right That's what we're we were supposed to go east. Yeah, we went, went east. east. Yeah, that was the problem. I'll set uh, three fishing rods on the left side. Okay. I, I know shit terms. They're on the other side. So port. No port, what, port is left. Starboard aft is right. Starboard. I thought that was like. No, aft is forward, starboard's right, yep. port is left. Yeah, I was like, that's. Yeah, based based on the number of letters. Yeah. Yeah. Starboard port is left. and right both have longer More than four than left. Not a cold. Yeah. It's like four always. Oh, mm-hmm. We're saying right. water words, right? Same amount of letters. Okay. All right, so as you guys go around the corner and see the little village, we're going to stop the episode there. Okay. Hey. 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 Thanks for watching that viewers. If you like this episode, please like the video and subscribe to our channel uh, and ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post new content. Uh, if you want to know more about this series, uh, the campaign is on this box right here and you can follow our latest interview which describes each character's backstory and their background information over here.